Well, it's that time of year again where unmanned vehicles are at the centre of attention. We're inside the Ernest J. Morrill Convention Centre in New Orleans for another AVSI Exponential. Forgive the orange glow, it's not fake tan, it's set up day here on the show floor. We've had a quick walk around, we think we've identified some key themes. So although there is definitely a commercial focus here at Exponential, the use of commercial ES in the airspace and different business opportunities that they can have, defence companies, as you can see behind us, still do think the conference is relevant to themselves and their market. However, there is one exception. General Atomics have chosen not to participate. So one of the themes that we think we've identified already here at Exponential is the growing numbers of fixed wing UAVs that have a VTOL capability like the HQ60 here behind us from UAV Solutions. But of course that's just one example. Uh, we've also seen one from Arcturus, they'll have one on uh, display here, text from Systems 2. So we think there's definitely a theme there and we'll have more on this throughout the rest of the show. So although inevitably here at Exponential there's a lot of interest, a lot of focus on UAVs and UASs, you can't forget obviously there are different mediums that unmanned vehicles can operate in, whether that's at sea uh, or on ground here with Oshkosh's Terramax. But of course this is just one example, uh, there's a lot more technology like this around the show floor as well. So we brought you some of the key themes we think we've identified just walking around the show floor here at Exponential. Uh, for more in-depth coverage throughout the rest of the week, please visit our show news website. The stories will be free to view throughout the rest of Exponential. Um, stay tuned.